Собаки являются нашими друзьями на протяжении тысячелетий. Они живут рядом с нами, дарят нам безусловную любовь и могут быть замечательными компаньонами на всю жизнь. Сегодня существует более 400 пород собак, каждая со своими специфическими чертами и внешностью. У некоторых пород короткие носы. Мы называем этих собак брахицефалами. Многие считают, что эти собаки мило выглядят и у них хороший характер. Большинство из этих коротконосых пород весьма популярны и владельцы этим очень гордятся. То, как многие из них храпят, испытывают отдышку и прикладывают немало усилия для вдоха, может казаться смешным многим людям, но собакам не смешно. Эти собаки нездоровы и несчастливы, они страдают и им трудно дышать всю жизнь. Немалая часть из них нуждается в хирургическом вмешательстве, чтобы выжить, а иногда они даже умирают от брахицефалического обструктивного синдрома дыхательных путей. Жестоко продолжать намеренно разводить собак с брахицефалическим синдромом, ведь они зачастую живут в страданиях и с постоянной одышкой. Because of exaggerated anatomical features, many short nosed dogs suffer from devastating medical conditions. It can mean narrow nostrils in French bulldogs, compressed and thickened nasal sinuses, long soft palates in pugs, and narrow wing piping in English bulldogs. All of the structures are still there, but the box becomes much smaller. The structures simply do not fit anymore. The shape of the eyes and extreme skin folds can cause eye problems. A short muscle can cause dental disease due to teeth overcrowding. These drugs may also have chronic ear infections from tight ear canals, chronic vomiting from labor breathing, and difficulty giving birth because of the large heads. But most serious is their difficulty to breathe. This we call BOAS, the brachycephaly obstructive airway syndrome. We are, as veterinarians, well suited to recognize dogs with a compromised breathing function that makes it possible to exclude them from breeding. But to implement a wise breeding selection of these dogs, that is not enough. There must also be an urge to select dogs with less exaggerated anatomical features that may result in compromised or impaired breathing function. To achieve that, We must all work together, not only the veterinarians, but all the other stakeholders, the breeders, the show judges, and the media, to implement or influence the perception of a dog of these breeds with less exaggerated and omegal features, so that they will have a happy life together. Нам нужно совместно влиять на восприятие здоровой собаки по сравнению с собакой с избыточно развитыми анатомическими структурами. Необходим отбор здоровых породистых собак с менее преувеличенными чертами, чтобы это отклонение не передавалось потомству. Dogs should be able to run outside without labored breathing, eat without gasping for breath, and sleep without obstructing. We can improve the life of the individual dog with surgery, but this is not the solution. The answer lies with health-focused breeding. Less extreme is better when it comes to exaggerated conformation in dogs. This is a pug, and with a camera we are looking at the entrance of the windpipe. You can see that the entrance is nearly fully blocked, and the dog needs to work really hard to get the air in. This is a French bulldog, and we are looking at his nose. We can see that his nostrils are almost completely blocked. This dog can hardly get air in, Therefore, to get air in, it may have to keep its mouth open, which is not normal for any dog. This is a radiograph of a bulldog's windpipe, and that of a similarly sized dog. To the left, you see what a windpipe should look like, and to the right, you see a very narrowed windpipe. This is the case in some bulldogs and other short-nosed breeds. You can imagine that it's very difficult to get air into your lungs through a pipe that is too narrow. Ineas Health describes whether dogs are born with the physical capacity to be healthy. Sadly, however, many short-nosed dogs are born with very poor innate health due to their extreme physical features, 
such as shortened nose, bulging eyes, large head, folded skin, and lack of tail. Average lifespan is a widely used and reliable summary measure of overall lifetime health. However, research shows that popular short-nosed dog breeds such as French Bulldogs, Pugs and English Bulldogs on average die before eight years of age, living just two thirds of the typical life of other breeds such as Labrador Retrievers or crossbreeds, which can expect to live up to around 12 years. Boas and breathing problems in general are more than 30 times more likely in French Bulldogs, English Bulldogs and Pugs than in dogs from other breeds. Overweight and obesity are recognized to worsen BOAS across all breeds, contributing to approximately 50% of the variation. Owners can improve their short-nosed dog's health by keeping them slim and fit. Резко возросшая популярность некоторых коротконосых пород в настоящее время превратила брахицефалию и брахицефалический синдром в международный кризис благополучия собак. За последние 20 лет желание владеть французскими бульдогами распространилось по всему миру, и в настоящее время французские бульдоги являются самой распространенной породой, приобретаемой во многих странах, опережая даже лабрадора ретривера. Популярность английских бульдогов и мопсов также возросла. The issue is so driven by human demand. The extreme traits in these dogs came about through selection aimed at what is by many people seen as a charming look. These breeds did not historically have extremely short noses, but these have evolved through selection over numerous generations. Traditionally, the effort to select these dogs has been led by kennel clubs that issued pedigrees based on performance at dog shows. However, now a large part of the breeding takes place outside the kennel clubs. For example, in Denmark, my own country, currently only 12% of French Bulldogs acquired have a pedigree. So it is necessary to address the potential dog owners who create the demand for these dogs. Unfortunately, this has led to a situation in which these dogs suffer from their conformation. In my view, it is urgent to try to redress these issues. It is cruel and unethical to continue breeding dogs who cannot breathe normally. Нам нужно изменить наше поведение и поставить на первое место здоровье и благополучие собак, какими бы замечательными или милыми они ни были, не для нас, а для них. Boas is hugely underrecognized by owners and veterinary professionals. Many see these problems as normal for the breed, finding the snuffling and snorting breathing sounds cute rather than concerning, and exercise challenges convenient for those that don't wish to walk their dogs too much. Studies show that owners of short-nosed dogs are highly attached to them and will buy them again, even if their previous dog had health issues related to its looks. It's vital that people understand if their dogs are suffering and don't unintentionally celebrate their struggles. Selective breeding has created a short-nosed dog whose health has been compromised in search of cuteness. Selective breeding can also return these breeds to a more moderate anatomical conformation and also to normal breathing. Some of the mutations associated with the shortened face are now fixed in the mutant form in each breed. Outcrossing to a different breed can revert these mutations. But we know that some members of each brachycephalic breed do not have BOAS, showing that these mutations are not by themselves enough to confer the disease syndrome. Anatomical benchmarks, such as muscle length measurements, have not been able to separate BOAS affected dogs from unaffected dogs adequately. But studies do show that there is a correlation between more extreme traits and BOAS. Therefore, whilst continuing research towards a better genetic understanding of the disease, 
we need to select away from exaggerated anatomical features. We need to take into account that each dog has several different anatomical components contributing to their disease state, and that these components also vary between breeds. Breeders must select for more moderate muzzle length and nasal openings. However, an even more direct way to select against inheritance of bias is to measure the labored breathing that accompanies it directly. BOAS is a disease of airway function, and it can be tested most effectively using functional traits. Respiratory function tests have now been introduced to many countries around the world. They are based on a veterinary examination of a dog at rest, and again after a brisk walk, and they can differentiate dogs that can breathe normally from those who are compromised. We need breeders to engage in health-focused breathing and for the public to look for results of these tests. If the argument is, why can't I breed my short-nosed dog? Part of the answer will be because a functional test shows they cannot breathe properly with moderate exercise. If breeders do not have the access to these tests, then they need to realistically assess whether their prospective breeding dogs can perform a brisk walk for several minutes without labouring to breathe or having noisy breathing caused by obstruction. If affected dogs are not used for breeding, then the breathing function of the next generation of dogs will improve. This will require losing a portion of the breed populations from breeding, but these are populous breeds and the loss of BOAS affected dogs from breeding will improve the overall health of the breeds. We veterinarians see short-nosed dogs presenting with the symptoms of a gasping for breath in a heat stroke. In many cases, we are unable to save them. And this is significant animal welfare issue and can be avoided by selective and ethical breeding. Many dog breed clubs around the world recognize the issue with a brachycephalic obstructive airway syndrome and have embraced a respiratory function testing for all short face breeds like pug, English and French Bulldogs and Pekingese. By educating the breeders and owners, we can improve the respiratory health of these short nose breed dogs And allow them to live a comfortable life. Понятно, что это сложный вопрос. В нем задействованы многие заинтересованные стороны, такие как международные и национальные кинологические клубы, породные клубы, а также судьи на выставках собак, ветеринары, владельцы собак и будущие владельцы собак, торговцы, правительства и органы власти, организации по защите животных и средства массовой информации. Во многих странах подавляющее большинство коротконосых собак не зарегистрированы в клубах собаководства и как легально, так и нелегально продаются покупателям, находящимся на большом расстоянии от продавцов, в том числе с пересечением границ. Поэтому простой запрет породы не решит проблему. We are still faced with these problems, and now in even greater numbers because of a dramatic rise in the popularity of the type of dogs at risk. We should realize that there is no easy and quick solution by one stakeholder in just one country. If that would have been possible, we would have solved it by now. We should acknowledge the complexity and accept that the only sustainable way forward is if all stakeholders work together internationally and act nationally, taking social, economic and cultural differences into account. Only together can we make this work to the benefit of short-nosed dogs whose lives depend on us. Breeders did not purposefully select for dogs with impaired breathing but unintentionally, they did create this serious health issue. Breeders should select breeding stock with less exaggerated features and perform pre-breeding genetic health assessments, including respiratory function tests. 
This will reduce the frequency of BOAS, as well as other hereditary diseases, and allow for healthier dogs. If looking to acquire a short-nosed dog, prospective owners must ask breeders what actions they have taken to prevent BOAS in their puppies. The parents and puppies should breathe without obvious noise, have open nostrils, and a functional muzzle. No dog should snore, and all should be able to run and breathe freely. Selective breeding can return these breeds to more moderate anatomical conformation and normal breathing. Health-focused breeding produces healthy puppies. These dogs are our companions, and their lives depend on us. We can't let them down. All dogs deserve to live healthy lives. The World Small Animal Veterinary Association has produced this video to bring attention to the public on the devastating effects of brachycephalic obstructive airway syndrome seen in short-nosed dogs. We all love our dogs, but sometimes we need to stop and recognize the serious health issues that has been created and work together to restore the health to these breeds. Возможно, мы не всегда придерживаемся одного и того же мнения и можем смотреть на это с разных точек зрения, но давайте преодолеем наши личные разногласия, потому что если мы этого не сделаем, то в конечном итоге из-за этого будут страдать собаки. Давайте объединим усилия и будем работать вместе, чтобы обратить вспять неудачное развитие событий и обеспечить более здоровое и счастливое будущее для всех собак.